Carl from CWD. Um, I'm back in the little storage unit thing, and as usual, start doing one thing leads to another, leads to another. I've got to clean all this stuff up, tied it all up. I moved one thing, and I thought, oh, I'll move that, and I'll move that, I'll move that. Now my old days changed, and then I got a call from someone at a zoo saying the guy repairing some of the glass has damaged the sea line enclosure glass at a 3.6 metre wide by 1.6 metre tall piece of glass so that'll be fun gonna go down tomorrow and see that um so yeah that's exciting something to keep you busy this time of the year so i'm not going to be doing the kits today because i'm going to be booking about clean i just want to clean up get everything clear because there's no point in me trying to build things in a little tight space so i'm gonna turn you around so i've got a piece of glass cleaned it up it's dry now and i've got my little temperature checker so the glass at the moment just under two degrees and it's like one and a half to two degrees left side is a bit cooler than the right side but yeah it's about one and a half degrees two degrees so it's below the five degrees celsius um and this is the off cut of plastic that's a bit warmer and it's quite a bit warm it's like double the temperature so that's two to three degrees so i've roughed up you can see it looks a bit different left and right i've roughed this side up and i've left that side on it comes um so we're going to put a little swatch Got a little lot of liner up there. Stick a little swatch on there. A little swatch on there. Um, so we'll see if keying it up makes much of a difference. And then on this piece of glass, I'm going to do a few different ones. I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do one with tons of sealant. I'm going to push it as flat as I can. Another one with tons of sealant where I'm going to leave it about three or four mil thick. Um, and then I'm going to get a heat gun. I'm going to heat the glass up, I'm going to heat the sealant up, and then I'm going to apply it, and then I'm going to leave it, leave, well, I'm just going to leave it to go cold over time and see if that initial heating it up makes any difference. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. The heat gun I'm not going to be able to do today. Um, I need another attachment on the generator for that. But I'm going to do these two. Um, or I might do four, actually. I might even do six, because then I can... Tomorrow I can pull these off, the day after I can pull these off, the day after that I can pull them off and see if you do need to leave it for 48, 72 hours, if that makes a difference. Because that might be um that might be all you need to do, just leave it a little bit longer. So yeah, I'm gonna do six this side. Um one with loads of sealant but pushed as flat as you can on the left, and on the right I'm gonna do loads of sealant again, but not squished as flat as possible. I'm gonna leave it with a a few mil bead um, and see if that makes any difference whatsoever so that'll be one two three days worth of that and on this side I'm just going to heat it up and see if that makes a difference and then that one I'm going to probably do I'll probably do two each side yeah I'll do two each side um, and then I'll do a 24 hour and a 48 hour uh, so yeah I'm gonna do that cut the swatches off this bit of liner and heat them up but just to double check that my little temperature gun works yeah, my coffee is 53 degrees and the wall is 0.07 degrees. So yeah, the uh, temperature working, well, the thermometer even is working. So that's, let's see, yeah. One and a half to two degrees, that piece of glass. So um, let's see, see what happens with that. I'm just gonna cut the swatches off now and then um, I'll get sticking them on. So, got my little swatches. Let's see if I can see what, what I'm doing here. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are all going to be pushed pretty flat down. And then on a bit wet two three I'm gonna leave them really 
them be quite thick. So I'm gonna get it on here. Oh bloody hell, that's viscous that. Ooh. Yes, that's come out. <laughs> you can tell it's cold, that's come out absolutely solid. So I'm just going to stick it down there and push it all the way down. This is going to be the one that's there for a day. So about this time tomorrow, it's now about lunchtime, just near, nearly one o'clock. So I'll give that 24 hours. See that's how we do when we install the, the liner to the back of the glass. That's basically simulating that. And we might even be able to get a view from the other side. Not the best view. But yeah, we can pick it up and we can actually see what it looks like from the other side. It should just look like well, just all flat, all uniform, no gaps. So if you imagine water trying to get through that, it should be quite difficult. Oh, there's... Oh, bloody hell, look at that. You can probably stand up. Is that thick? <laughs> yeah. I've never seen it like that before. I've left the tube in there overnight as well, so the tube's the same temperature. I've not heated the sealant up because that's another thing that I'm going to be trying. This is the day two one. Right, so I'm, I'm leaving this little flat bit here. Because then I can, I've got something to, to grab to lift it off. If that wasn't obvious. And the day three one. Oh, God, that looks so thick. Good job, we've got a decent seal and gun. Don't think a, a normal little skeleton one would be able to deal with that. do with, the, with these ones is I might put double the amount of sealant on. It's really thick. It's never been this difficult before to push it down. I'll tell you in the summer it's like uh, it's much easier. It's just like melted chocolate. Okay, right, so these ones are going to put a bit more on. I can't believe how viscous that is, it's crazy. Right, so one, and double it up, can curve him back now. So that's what it looks like there. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is going to be like. I'm, I'm not holding up any hopes for it, for it working like. But yeah, with this one, I'm not pushing it all the way down. I'm just pushing it onto it. Yeah, so that's, this is probably, a, yeah, it's a lot thicker. This is pushed pretty much all the way down so I can feel the glass. That I can feel the ceiling bumping up, bumping up. So let's see if that makes a difference. And all over my hands as well. Always managed to do that. There's no point wearing gloves, because even wearing gloves, you take the gloves off, still get covered in it. 
on food. So, these ones have literally just pushed it on. Just so it goes flat. I don't know if you can see on this. Uh, yes, you can see a bit of a bit of a gap under each one of these ones. So we're going to see if leaving the thicker beads better. I'm convinced these ones will work better, but we'll see. I'm just going to do one each on them now, and that's it for the science for today. I'm going to each other. I'll do a 24 hour and I'll do a 48 hour. I'll just get all the sealant on there first and then I'll just whack them all on. to the tube while it does the liner. There's three. And there's four. Right. So this flat bit of the back is going to be the 24 hour test. I'm going to push these flat because that's how it's going to be on a bottom drain or a flange. I wouldn't want to install them with a big thick bead unless these show me any difference. Get it all squished out. So then ones on the left I'll do after a day. The ones on the right I'll do a couple of days. Almost sucked in, not quite. Lovely. And this is the bit that's not been it's not been roughed up, you can see it's a bit lighter, it's a bit more sort of dusty. Happens over the next few days. I'm just going to leave them here as they are. So they're at two, what, one and a half to two degrees, I think it was. What temperature is this liner? Oh, the liner's actually like four and a half degrees. That one's four. That one's four. Sorry, I'm not showing you. I'm actually looking at myself. Yeah, and the plastic. Yeah, the plastic's like three. So the plastic's warmer than the uh, the glass. You can see the glass is going down now. So the wood's warmer. But it's still around two degrees, so it's not warm enough for using sealant. But we'll see. We'll test it. So yeah, um, take this off tomorrow, that off the next day that off the next day so we'll see if you can fit windows and do flanges and stuff like that when it's below five degrees all right see you back when um when i've done that i'm just gonna go and get cleaning up
Hello again, Carl from CWD. Right, same time, it's been 24 hours since I've been in here. I'm gonna have a look, see what's going on with all these swatches over there. So, there we go, let's see. Get a bit, it's not as bright, get the old, ooh, get the torch going. Right. So, if you remember, these are the ones where I pressed down all the way on the left side, and that's day one, day two, day three. And then these ones are where I left a thick bead. And I can actually feel that. Look, you can press there, lose a circle. Press there, lose a circle. So there's a thick bead on there still, and these, rough side on the left, smooth side on the right. So that's um, it's got, kind of emulating a skimmer, flange returner, a bottom drain, and a pond. See what's, what works best with that. Um, right, so I'll give these a pull, see if they're sealed. Hey, that's coming up. It's, hey, it's, it's still hard to pull off, it's not easy. But I can peel it off. So, day one, not so good. I don't want to touch it with my finger because I'll just get it everywhere. I don't use a nice new gloves either. Find, let me find something just to. Until this. Bit of paper off there, see how we are. Yeah, see, it's not cured in the middle, so it started skinning over. Because I can touch this one here, still feels a little bit sticky, but nothing's coming off on my finger. So this one not being pressed down much should just come straight up. Yeah, that's straight up. If that had been a day in the summer, oh, no, it if that would have been a day in the summer, it would have been an absolute nightmare pulling either one of these off. So it definitely does make a difference. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up some tubes in some in a bucket and just water, like mix the warm water make sure the water's not any more than like 25 degrees so i'll take my temperature checker on with me use that make sure the water's not too hot i'll stick the tube in there for a while um see if putting warm sealant on speeds up the curing process makes any difference but for now day one it's not looking good so these i'm not even going to bother using pulling these off I don't think I mean I can pick that up you know it's solid enough to to hold that but I don't think it's solid enough for actually sealing anything yet so I wasn't expecting that to happen I reckon if anything it'll be day three uh, it was minus well minus eight when I woke up at seven o'clock this morning in Sandbach uh, according to my car according to the weather it was uh, minus seven. Yeah, but my car said minus eight. Normally it does your car, it says a bit colder, doesn't it? So I'll come back tomorrow. Um, I did try and start the pond kits yesterday, but the sleepers, as you can see, is a big sheet of bloody ice all over the top. The sleepers were frozen, they were frozen together. And I'm six foot, I just, just above six foot high, I thought it's not worth doing that hurting myself just before Christmas, a lot of sleepers falling off on me. Um, so in here, I managed to tidy up. This is, don't know if I want to keep it area, over here. Um, so it's a new area that we just started using. I'm actually going to be using this bit over here to be building pond kits. It's three and a half meters wide. And as you can tell, it's definitely long enough, I'm not going to have any ponds longer than that. Um, but yeah, there is there is outside if I need to build anything bigger than three and a half by eight. Um, so yeah, there's going to be plenty of space in there, nice and covered. I've got a tractor so I can load, you know, load stuff on wagons and all that stuff here. So yeah, should be a busy, busy year next year on the, the kits, we've done quite well with them. I think, um, I mean, things like Easy Ponds are good but some people struggle with getting them in. So um, I think that's 
one solution the sleeper kits give you is if you're not 100 percent sure how to build it you buy one we make it to whatever size you want and then we teach you or we tell you how to do it it's dead easy it's just screw it together i'm surprised people haven't done it before if i'm honest but yeah nice and easy to do so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna be storing sleepers in this area this area i'm gonna get a, a load of pipe work in because pipe work's going up crazy um, it was what 30 pound a length of four inch pressure pipe in the last couple of years now it's getting close to 60 pound retail so i'm just going to get a shipment in stock up have it all here and then whatever i get it at i can i can keep the same rate if i buy enough of it it doesn't matter if the prices go up everywhere else i can keep my prices the same then yeah, so for my build so i have to be waiting around for two inch pressure pipe halfway through the year and um yeah i'll be able to have a nice consistent price save customers some money so i'll be back here tomorrow and i'll see what this says so yeah um i'll check in tomorrow and see how that's gone but i didn't expect too much from this i reckon tomorrow is going to be pretty much the same you can tell by looking at it that there is let's get a bit closer that's actually let me try and zoom in actually see if you can change the setting it won't let me change the setting while i'm doing it but I'm not sure if you can see there let's see if i can change the light but you actually, it actually matches the imprint of the liner right these little um because they have like little have a bit of a a texture and the texture on there is matching it shows that it's not actually really curing that well so it might just be that we're gonna have to stick to above five degrees celsius which isn't very good news for jim at church lawton but the good news is we're not just cracking on and doing it and mucking it up and having to go back when it's better and doing it again so yeah let's see how we get on tomorrow eh?